We're going to learn comparatives today. Making comparisons. Do you know how to make comparisons in English? Well, let's find out. When we want to take two things and compare them, we have to use comparatives in English. Comparatives. I'm going to make this easy for you. We are going to separate comparatives into two categories. Category one will be small words. Category two will be big words. Okay, let's start with the small words. <laughs> small adjectives with one or two syllables use this structure. E, R, then. For example, big, small, short, tall, easy, hard. All of these words or adjectives they are have one or two syllables. How do you know how many syllables a word has? You can separate the sounds of the words by clapping if that's easier for you. So big or small, easy. So you can clap and that helps you figure out how many syllables are in the word. Or you can just use your fingers if that's easier for you. So big, small, easy. Okay, you can see there's two syllables in the word easy. For the small adjectives, all we do is add an ER to the end of the word and then the word than. For example, bigger than, smaller than, easier than, harder than, shorter than, taller than. Sometimes spelling changes for the words like, for example, with big, we add another G, bigger with two Gs. Also the word easier, it ends with a Y, so we get rid of the Y and it becomes I-E-R, okay? So just repeat after me. Bigger than, smaller than, harder than, easier than, shorter than, taller than, okay? You got it, you guys? Okay, let's take a look at some examples in full sentences. The blue house is smaller than the red house. An elephant is bigger than a mouse. My sister is shorter than me. I am taller than my sister. English is easier than Portuguese. I think so. <laughs> skiing is harder than ice skating. Now, what do we do about the larger words? The adjectives that have three or more syllables. Let's take a look. Words like beautiful, interesting, expensive, delicious, amazing, all of these words have three or more syllables. Let's see. Beautiful, three syllables. Delicious, three syllables. Interesting, three syllables. So now we're going to use a different structure for the bigger adjectives. For this structure, the actual word doesn't change. All we do is add more or less in front of the word, and then the word then. For example, more beautiful than, less beautiful than, more interesting than, less interesting than, more expensive than, less expensive than. So let's take a look at some examples in full sentences. Watching a sunset at the beach is more amazing than watching a sunset at home. Reading a book about history is less interesting than reading a book about traveling. 
real Italian pizza is more delicious than the pizzeria down the street from me. A Toyota is less expensive than a Mercedes. I think that Paris is more beautiful than Rome. Now, there are some exceptions to the rule. For example, the word boring. Boring has two syllables, but it's an exception to the rule. It doesn't fit in with the first category. We have to use it with the second category. Why? I don't know. It's English. That's how it is sometimes. With languages, there are always exceptions to rules. <laughs> so for the word boring, just remember that it has to be used with more or less than. So the movie I watched last night was more boring than the movie I watched last weekend. Time for some practice. Now it's time for homework. Okay, so this is what you guys have to do. I want you to use the adjectives cheap and expensive and give me two sentences using cheap and expensive. So you have to compare two things using cheap and expensive. So two sentences, I want one sentence with cheap and one sentence with expensive. And I'm going to come back and check your answers. So you better do your homework. <laughs> All right, that's it for the lesson today. If you have questions, feel free to leave a question for me in the comments section. And also the other thing, subscribe to my channel so you can receive notifications every time I post a video. And it helps me know that you just want me to continue. So be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys. I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.